Karoo. Daryl McClellan has paid $4.50 and $2. Number nine, Shockaroo winning the last, and the judge will call on a camera for the second and third placing. Uh, we've got Madison here, number 11, which was showing at uh, $2.40. Spillway's wide out there. Spillway around at Ripper. And uh, number three was showing at $4.60. The net not far away, but the issue for third, Spillway and Madison. But Shockaroo from the rails, he just needed the run. It came at the right time, and he was able to win. The disappointment of the race was Sin City. Here we go. Nine is the winner, and that is Shockaroo, written by Daryl McClellan at $4.50 and $2. Number three, Spillway, written by Chris Munn, second, $4.60. A number 11 in the third spot, Madison, Corey Brown, $2.40. The official fourth, number six, and that was the net. The first four dividend is $3,797.60. The Quinella, $36.90. Exacta, $73.70 and the trifecta $435. The full numbers now up on the superfecta 9, 3, 11, 6, 17 and 4 and the superfecta information not yet to hand. Now the time was 1, 11, 19. 1, 11, 19. Two and a half lengths a short head. Two and a half a short head. 111 19 35 87 and the superfector jackpot is twenty thousand four hundred and sixty six dollars and fifty six cents so that's the runner of uh, the heart research institute handicap number nine winning it and winning it well winners here today mr attorney scott pollard celestia corey brown royal perler rob brewer trillion delight jim cassidy marwin gull grant buckley inclusion chris Munts. Uh, friendly sees Corey Brown and of course the last winner number nine ridden by Daryl McClellan Shockeroo now the uh, jockeys premiership just before we leave you it's uh, Darren Beedman 99 and a half Corey Brown with a double today 98 and on the apprentices front both Rob Brewer and Scott Pollard road winners so 20 and a half Rob Brewer a half in front of Scott Pollard that's about as far as I can take you for the moment correct weight will come down the line as we say bye bye to you all from Royal Randwick thanks very much Ian have a good weekend and uh, Corey Brown continues the run chase at Rose Hill tomorrow with Darren Beedman returning after tomorrow's Rose Hill program so we're in, in for uh, an interesting couple of weeks Beedman and Brown fighting out the premiership in Sydney but they are the updated figures. Darren's one and a half in front. Now, Eagle Farm in five minutes. Favourite is its platonic. Been a long while since he's raced outside of group enlisted company. Two placings at Mooney Valley have been in very strong mare's grade. Runs on Ego, moves up into the gates. Here's Brodance coming in. Brodance having his first start for Roger James. He beat a horse called Shower Heart when resuming last time. So we need uh, three to move in and we'll have them right to go. Stardock coming in. Keelan and Old Man to get set. Quaddy today, 6231 paid 12,144.70. Daddy double and two and one returned 46.20. Not too far away from a start. Sly Rambler won the previous on the card. Great ride too. He's won four cups in uh, this season. Great effort. Just about right to go. All locked away, the light flashes for the last on the card. Old Man stood well, they're away. Old Man and its platonic both jumped OK. Spring Warrior bounded out of the stools quickly. Roxar had begun fast and Soviet Sun shows pace from the rails gate. Stardock's going up wide out on the course. As they made their way to the 1200 metre mark, he's going very quickly out wide. But as they make that turn, Soviet Sun led from Spring Warrior. Stardock trapped out on the outside. Roxar right behind them fourth and Natchez fifth the outside. One and a half, it's platonic, runs on Ego the fence and then Keelan. Length and a half further back in the field then Satashi on the outside of As You Do and Old Man is travelling three deep on the outside of those with Brodance two lengths away last of all. Soviet Sun led at the 800, Star Dockets outside Roxar getting a good cut, third on the inside of Spring Warrior, two lengths away Natch and the Yellow Colours on the outside of Runs on Ego, Keelan, a length to the favourite, it's Platonic, Old Man going up on the outside of her starting his run wide out and then Satashi followed by As You Do and Brodance still last 600 left to go, Soviet Sun 
Sun by a length, Star Dock, Spring Warrior. Roxar behind them, Old Man working into it. Then runs on Ego, Satashi. It's Platonic working home, but she's run into a pocket. And then Natch, Spring Warrior dash to the lead, coming around the turn. Old Man's coming home well. Then Star Dock, Soviet Sun. Back behind them then as Satashi pulled to the outside. It's Platonic, spots them a fair break, about six or seven away. Spring Warrior led round the turn, two lengths to Old Man, Star Dock, and then Satashi. 100 to go, though, and Spring Warrior's out by a couple of lengths. Star Dock, Old Man, and then Roxar. It's Platonic rattling home, but Spring Warrior, Spring Warrior won it easily. It's Platonic got up and grabbed second, I'd say, from Star Dock, and then Old Man, and they were followed by Roxar, Bro Dance from the tail. Then, as you do, Satashi was next, trailed by Runs on Ego, Soviet Sun, Natch, and along last was Keelan. Spring Warrior at pretty good odds, around 41.40 on the tote. Number 12, Spring Warrior first, 8.30 for the place. It's Platonic, ran into some trouble when she started to make a run up the side. She got held up for a run and had to ease right to the outside. She's charged home, made tremendous ground, but the bird had flown. Spring Warrior and Stephen Bastard were away at the bend and have won it in comfortable style. Six, uh, rather, 12, 2 and 9. 12, Spring Warrior, Stephen Bastard, Tony Vassell. Second to two, it's Platonic, Fabian Villela. And third, number nine, Stardock, ridden by Kieran McAvoy. 12, 2 and 9 in the last event. Spring Warrior, which you have had some upset results uh, on and off throughout the day, and there's a, a blowout for punters to uh, go home with. Spring Warrior winning the last on the card. Put into a good place by Steve Baster, and she uh, responded very well. Now, he did. He's a half-brother to Brave Prince and Valerina. And uh, went out with a big lead last start, you might recall, on the uh, Winter Championship final, and folded up there to be beaten by about eight lengths. Ridden a little more patiently, just off the speed today. Dashed to the front at the bend, and it's been a runaway win for Spring Warrior. And the official margin was two and a half by a neck. Two and a half by a neck in the last on the card. OK, Steve Baster winning the uh, final event. Now take dividends are through an official. 41.40 and 8.30 for Nello. 77.30. Exactor paid $155.60. Trifecta $1,396 even. And the last double on 1 and 12 paid $560.60. OK. There are a few uh, potholes in the road for putters here today. Hope you managed to dodge them and have a little cash left because we've got a good card coming up at Caulfield tomorrow. Uh, eight events on the program there. Last reading I had was slow, but it's been a very good drying day today. Might have just uh, helped uh, firm the surface up a bit for the last uh, for the uh, meeting there tomorrow. First race is uh, at 12.18 for Caulfield tomorrow. OK, uh, just wait to follow. We'll tidy up all details here on the final event from Mooney Valley. Look forward to joining you at Caulfield tomorrow. All right, thanks, Greg. And only one favourite was successful at Mooney Valley this afternoon, and that was St Stephen in the steeplechase. So punters could rely on uh, St Stephen to do the right thing by them. But, uh, yeah. All in prior to the Sioux marking time. Racing, Fandang jumps sideways when the stalls open back. Pride of the Sioux and Lady Knockout commenced well. And Warning Tunes keen to get across and head this trio. And Sento's coming across. And now Whiting decides to drop Dexian straight back to the tail of the field. It's the Stephen Wolf train Warning Tune who leads at the end of 250 and down to the judge. Shows the way two and a half lengths to Sento. Three quarters Pride of the Sioux parked on the inside running third. Lady Knockout is fourth and she's getting a nice trail early on. Two lengths to Fandang, a similar margin the brown horse from Teolani and back last is Dexian in his customary role as they race through the crossing and head out onto the riverside of the course well Warning Tune is going to make them run Oliver's wasting no time and as they head towards the 1450 and turning into the back it's Warning Tune out on his own by seven lengths running second is Sento from on the rails pride of the Sioux and a half length away then the Sir Heed filly Lady Knockout fourth a length and a half further back behind those came Fandang one and a half the brown horse and Whiting is sending the favourite Dexian through on the fence and out there 
Uh, between horses for the moment is Tayalani, who's back next to last as they race to the back. 1,100 metres to travel. Warning tune, given a breather, comes back to the field. Now about three or four lengths to the good of Sento. One and a half, Lady Knockout. There goes Tayalani. She's off around them and is quickly making up ground, travelling to fourth. The rider of Lady Knockout going with a Jay Brown. A length and a half, the Fandang followed over on the inside next. Pride of the Sioux, the brown horse, and again Dexian gets back to last. The scene changed. Whiting's off the rail. And and Dixian finds a bit of daylight. He's still back second last. And Warning Tune again sprints at the 650 in the Classic. Warning Tune will bring them around the corner. Two lengths sent out. Lady Knockout going up on his outside. And then a further two lengths back in the field. Then the Philly Fandang. Dexian is next. And Whiting is really starting to stoke him up. Tayalani dropped out calling it a day. Well back prior to the Sioux. Then the Brown Horses heads turn for home. And Warning Tune straightened up down to the 300 a length. Lady Knockout. Whiting draws the whip on the hot pot. Here comes comes Dexian and the dapple grey star raced alongside of Lady Knockout they've come away they drop off warning tune but it's Dexian careering away and he's going to turn the tables on Lady Knockout after losing the guineas and down to the line he wins the classic in a canter Dexian two and a half lengths Lady Knockout six lengths away warning tune third followed by Tayalani Sento Fandang well back the brown horse and a long long last is Pride of the Sioux Ready and racing. And St. Stephen Jupp reasonably in the middle of the line. Riverboy, Kick It, Dove Edwin and Zidane all handy as they jump the first and St. Stephen drops out last. Coming down to the post, Kick It working up on the outside to go to the lead over Zidane. Riverboy sat off them two lengths away third. Then Dove Edwin in fourth placing and Dimian his outside. Queen likes on the rail. Then Regal Royal and St. Stephen is last of the eight runners as they leave the straight the first time. They head down now for the steeplechase lane. There's a triple awaiting them on the Dean Street side. And kick it outside Zidane. The leaders four links to Riverboy. Three links in Dimian. Then Dove Edwin the centre. Queen like on the inside as they go to the first of three. And then St. Stephen as they jump this one. And Dimian jumped out. And also Dove Edwin hadn't handled it too well. And Regal Royals back to the tail. At the last of the treble, these two are going out quickly the early stages. Kick it eventually getting the better of Zidane and crossing down in front. And they've got out about eight lengths clear. St. Stephen went through the pack on the rails. He's moved up into third place now. Two lengths to Riverboy. Three in Dimian. About a length further back as Regal Royal. And then Dove Edwin and Queen likes now last. Double down the back, kick it comes to the first, out by a length. Zidane second, five lengths and Stephen. Two and a half lengths away, River Boy as they go to the second of that double in the first circuit. Behind River Boy is Regal Royal. Then there's a break of about three lengths in Dimian, Dove Edwin. And a length away, last of all, is Queenlike on the inside. They make the turn up the top of the straight there with 800 to go and a circuit more. And coming down to the first of this double now in this circuit, and the leader is Kick It. He took off early, but he was able to get away with it cleverly. Kick It by three lengths, Zidane. Four lengths away, St. Stephen. Another four, River Boy on the inside, and then Regal Royal. They're being followed then by Dove Edwin as they come to the next fence down the side. Back behind Dove Edwin is Endymion, and Queenlike is last. Up towards the bend and Kickett's got away with a big lead. As he did at Mornington, he's a dashing front runner, this fellow, and it's Kickett about six lengths in front of Zidane. St. Stephen getting to the outside of him, Riverboy pokes up on the rail, then Regal Royal, a break to Endymion, and then Dove Edwin and Queenlike. Here's the one in front of the stands now. Over it goes Kickett with a lead of about six or seven lengths. As they leap this one, second placing held by Zidane, St. Stephen moving up on his outside, a circuit to go. Two and a half lengths away, River Boy fourth on the inside, and then Regal Royal. Five to Endymion, Queen like, and Dove Edwin have dropped out last. So they've uh, left the straight now, and they're heading out with eight fences to go. 1,600 metres are a touch less in, left in front of them. And back down to the steeplechase lane goes Kick It by two and a half since Stephen ends it down. River Boy handy enough, and so is Regal Royal. Fair break, Endymion, Queen like, Dove Edwin. At the treble, Kick It over in front of St. Stephen. They're racing out very wide. Kick It led St. Stephen into that one. And he tucked into it a bit, the toppy. Then came Zidane and Regal Royal right behind St. Stephen as they leap this. And River Boy's handy too. And uh, these five have kicked away about eight lengths to Endymion, Queenlike and Dove Edwin. Kick it in front, into the back now. As he is about to approach the double for the last time, kick it by three. St. Stephen gives chase and then Zidane, Regal Royal and River Boy. Here's the important double down the back. 
Kick it, led by three over St. Stephen, Zidane, Regal Royal, then River Boys. They come to the second of the double now. Long break behind these horses to the other trio. Uh, Dove Edwin getting up around Endymion and Queen like last. Up the side, three to jump and kick it with a good lead over St. Stephen. He's out by three lengths. Scott working on the top, but he's responding gamely. River Boy got into third, and then came Zidane and Regal Royal. Kick it nearly went at the third last one. He made a bad mistake, as he did in the previous lap, and St. Stephen now closed him and he's coming up towards the second last and Stephen leading from kick it and a long break to river boy at the second last and Stephen again out jumping kick it he went out too hard he's really running on empty the gray river boys third he's under pressure and then came as they came to the turn Zidane and Regal Royal but into the straight and St Stephen in the race named in his honor leads by four lengths from kick it five lengths to river boy and they're followed by Zidane and Regal Royal but St Stephen comes down to the last fence now Here Here's the 17th, and St. Stephen jumps the last beautifully. Six in front from Kick It, and then River Boy and St. Stephen throttle down. Wins the St. Stephen steeplechase by six lengths to Kick It. River Boy stopped, and Regal Royal is in a photo with him for third. Not much between them. Zidane was next, then a long break to Dove Edwin, and then came Queen Lake, and last is Endemian. I don't know whether he jumped the last fence, and they've all got round.